Hello beautiful people, it's Bella and it's Friday, so <laughs> really excited to be here with you before the weekend kicks off. Uh, but what I do want to ask you is to pause with me for a second to ponder and to question together something, uh, an assumption that we have in our society, which is that we can't have it all. So I think we've looked at it from a perspective of you know, is it really possible for, especially for women, you know, to have a career, be a good mom, you know, pursue this personal development, healthy living, all of those things. And we've come to the conclusion that's impossible. We don't have enough hours in a day. We don't have enough resources. It's just impossible. That I agree with. But I do think that the reason we can't, we're, we don't seem to reach this having it all level is because we're doing it incorrectly. We're coming to it from a perspective of separation, of division, rather than from a place of owning it and really coming back to ourself and finding that all of those different things that we want to pursue are really part of the same journey. It's part of who you are. And if you, instead of trying to fix your body, fix your mind, fix your relationships, fix your lack of purpose in life, instead of trying to fix all of those things, if you really just say, pause, I'm going back to myself and I'm really reconnecting to that sense of self and what is it that I really wanna accomplish in life? If you go from that perspective, all of a sudden, everything just flows and that's where i'm having a difficulty as a business owner too in marketing what i do because every time i go to uh marketing specialists that say you know what is the pain that you're trying to resolve or what is the you know specific product service that you're offering and in reality it's really this going back to yourself and finding what resonates with you and who you are at an authentic level and finding this state of pleasurable wellness, which is what I call it, but in reality, it could be called the vibration of the Garden of Eden, which is our original blueprint, or it could be called Nirvana as in Buddhism. It doesn't matter, but it's this state of orgasmic bliss that you experience when you are disconnected from the obligations and when you are really tuned in to the flow of life. And that only happens when you are brutally honest with yourself as to what you want. You have to really learn to say no to things that don't resonate with you and reconnect with the things that really make you feel good. Even to, you know, whether you want this glass of wine or do you want uh, a glass of water, it's like really connecting to this cellular feeling, like what is it that I want? You know, if you want to stop, pause your work day and get a massage session, which is what I did right now, there's just nothing shameful or wrong or, you know, too much in that. It is what makes you feel good by default it makes your physical body feel good releases all these different hormones like the feel-good hormones like endorphins and oxytocin and uh, serotonin and these not only make you healthy well they make your mind sharper they make you more creative they put you in the flow and when you allow yourself the luxury of following what feels good, not externally guys, but internally, you have that capacity to create this endless blissful state inside. If you connect to that in everything that you do, then and only then will all of those things that we talked about in the beginning become possible because it'll be part of the same journey. So what I mean by that on, in practical terms is this, you know, for example, I have been dying to go back dancing. This is something that's my passion. 
And at the same time, of course, I need to keep my body in good shape and stay healthy. Um, and in terms of like social life, I need to make new friends as I'm in a new city. So guess what? When I follow my passion and go salsa dancing, for example, that one act takes care of three different subjects. It puts me in a great shape, uh, make, takes my mind off because in that moment and in that hour, two hours, I'm completely in the zone. That's like meditation to me. It uh, connects me with like-minded people and it makes me happy. And by default, that happiness translates in, into all of these other things like productivity and things like that. And sometimes you'd be surprised, but when you follow these things, then you end up meeting people who are all of a sudden helping you in your professional life. And they are there to support you in something that you're going through. So it's all connected. If I did the opposite, let's say like, I have to stay healthy. So I'm gonna sign up for this like gym where I'm not happy, but I know it's good for my body. And then I don't have time to dance because I'm a single mom living alone and there's no time for any of that. Um, then I would start getting more and more depressed and more and more uh, disconnected from my body. And it wouldn't make my daughter uh, uh, have a better mom. It wouldn't make me more dedicated to my career. It wouldn't uh, help me get in better shape. On the contrary, it's just a small example. Pleasurable wellness, which is nothing that I invented. It's just, uh, like I said, it's this blueprint that we have inside of us. We just have to reconnect with it. And when we do that, then from what you put in your mouth and you know what you consider eating, that's desirable for you and healthy, we find that equilibrium. Same thing with exercise, same thing with your job, same thing with your relationships. Then everything becomes part of the same journey. It's not just about fixing things and having to do certain things, it's about reconnecting to yourself and piecing all of these pieces of the puzzle together. And I've actually created a tool that's called the, the, the wellness puzzle. It's the pleasurable wellness put into one page where you can really realign your eating habits, your sexuality, your relationships, your mental health, uh, physical fitness, all into one focus. And from that perspective, you actually reconnect to your true self. You reconnect to this life that's full of synchronicities and where everything flows. and you put the least effort and somehow the universe takes you that much further because you are aligned. It's like riding that wave. So that's the feeling that I really want to invite you to experience this weekend. What moves you to the point where that wave of life and vitality will pick you up and take you way further than you ever expected because you are following what feels good, really from the inside out and from the place of being authentically yourself. Please share your thoughts on this and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks always for listening. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. Lots of love to you.